everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great 4th of July. We're going to play some Skyrim Remastered, and I'm going to talk about some things that I've only discussed with certain people that I know, um, like my less immediate family members. And there was a comment I made on Abel and Kane's channel. And it was about motivation. And I explained to him that I'm always motivated. And he was curious on how that is. And I think I just said that I always have energy. So I'm going to come out with it. And you'll have to just kind of bear with me. It's kind of hard for me to talk about this. Um, so we'll start off. From when I was a kid, I suppose. So when I was a kid, um, my mom always said that she knew I was different. And um, so, you know, I was just different from others, I guess you could say. And there was something different about me. And she pretty much just said on her own that I was autistic. But it was never, like, proven. And, yeah, I, got, I was, like, very energetic. And she could barely keep me calm and stuff. So, and I've always had a thing for video games. They've, I've, it's like a love. And it's still to this day. I've been playing video games since I was, like, five years old, I believe. And I've always been, like, really good at them. And it's just, I, I don't know. I don't, like... Who's there? I, there's no practice involved. And I think my first video game I ever played was Mega Man. And I mean, I used to love that on the Nintendo. And it was just lots, lots of fun. I used to hate when the Nintendo used to mess up and, uh, yeah, I used to go to a blue screen because of the, the disc and the, or the cartridge and the game. That used to really upset me. I, I ain't gonna lie. I used to get pretty mad. Broke my controllers a couple of times. There's a little bit of rage there, I guess you could say. Um, Okay, we'll get off from that, though. <laughs> and I just kind of went through life like that. And, you know, I'd say about six months ago, I started noticing that maybe it was time to go get tested. And I did. And the results were kind of, some of them were kind of astonishing, and some of them that I kind of... I kind of had a notion that there was something different. Um, I, you know, when I was in school a long time ago, I had trouble making friends and stuff, and I couldn't keep them. And you know, I uh, had real bad. I got in trouble a lot. Put it that way, a real lot. So, all right. So I did get tested and. They said I have Asperger's, which now is called uh, autism. Was it autistic spectrum disorder? And then I have ADHD and PTSD and a bunch of other stuff that goes along with that that I'm not exactly comfortable discussing yet. Um, the PTSD I won't really. I won't really. I don't really want to talk about that. That's. Let's just put it this way. I've had a very traumatic past. Very. Uh, it's actually uh, um, so bad that. Good. I guess. It was. I can actually say it was seventy-five percent of my life. Um. It, yeah, because it, it was a good portion. But now it's not like that anymore because it's just there, as you could say. I am getting professional help and all that stuff, but I do not currently take any medicine for my autism and uh, my ADHD. So, I guess you could say it's like when I wake up in the morning, if anybody drinks energy drinks and knows what that feels like and they actually get a good energy boost off that, it's like drinking six monsters every morning and that's how I am every day. And it, I'm like that, you know, 
all the time. It doesn't go away. It's just there. And uh, it's good and it's bad. Because when you try to go to sleep, that's hard when you're super wired and just stay there. So, yeah, that, that can be fun at times. But yeah, so that's pretty much why I'm always, you know, wired, able, and um, that kind of answers your question. And then for my, um, for the zone army, kind of understand me a little bit more. Um, that's, I don't want to steal that. Let's go in here. I think I've already been in this place, though. Pretty much understand me a little bit more. Um, I do take a lot of pride in my channel and what I do on here, and I, I you know, I care about all the comments. I, I do all the games I currently play. I do love playing them. I enjoy them a lot. You may not hear it in my voice, but that day may be bad or I may be having an off day like my life is on routine and that's that's how I go through life and if my routine gets off then like my whole day is off and it could be it could be something small is there something I can not much to it really we fish and keep to ourselves Try to keep I've never seen the empire. Sauna takes close. care of you. Mom, the I guess those people don't alone. want to talk to me. Or I can't do anything special here. I try to think of there it as go. coaxing the ore from the rock. This mob we're getting to the. I've seen this before. We need some medicines to come. Thank you. Take it to Quintus in the White oh. Fire. Oh, got a little quest right, off of it. Well, let me mine in here. I, I must have to help before I can do that. Okay. I guess if y'all have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Um, but of course, if it gets into my PTSD, I won't. I won't uh, most likely respond to that. Just because it's not something I'm ready to talk about yet. That's. Uh, um, I guess I could say I'm... Uh, I don't know if I want to say this. Um, I don't know. It's... I guess... I hear a dragon. Where's he at? I don't know why I'm whispering. Ain't like he can hear me in the game. Wait a minute. Is there a dragon thing over here? Oh, there is. Okay, he is right over here somewhere. Let's see if I can find him. Okay, back to what I was saying. I, I guess I'm like, you know, sensitive and emotional and stuff, but um, I kind of hide that, so I can't say that y'all actually get to see it. Um, and you're probably asking, I said this some time ago, I said when I hit, I think it was 200 subscribers, I said I would use a face cam. I don't know. I have a face cam. It's sitting right in front of me. Um, but I was going to do this video with a face cam. I, I, it, I'm just not comfortable with it. And I, I hope you all understand that. And I hope to find a way where I am comfortable with it. It's just right now I'm, I'm not. And, you know, I hope one day that I will be comfortable with it. Because, you know, that's something I want to do. But I don't know. Maybe I'll have to use counseling for that or something. I, I don't know. Um, it's just I have fear of showing my face that makes any sense um uh it's uh a complex i guess you could say i have about myself so that's why i'm not currently using a face cam and um that's, sorry i i don't know any other way to really explain it that's about all i can give okay where is this place i'm going i feel like i've been walking for eternity think I'm in any trouble there. Go ahead and go there. Some of the holds I've been in trouble before. But if you there's a certain achievement if you want to get you gotta get a bounty and all nine holds. I think it's eight or nine, something like that. 
Um, and let's see anything else about me that I'd like to discuss with y'all. I have a really good memory. Um, it's more or less I don't forget things. Just put it to you that way. Did you use my good and no. I have something weird, like. I can hear things that other people can't. It's really strange. I, it's like I have supersonic ears, but it doesn't happen all the time. It's strange. I'm put my weapons away here. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so. Oh dear, Darkwater Crossing needs medicines for its mind. I'll see about getting this order filled right away. Here, a few septums for you. I guess. Are I can you ask kidding? That. I can't. He's. He's not the best teacher, but. Just watching him, I've learned so much. Alchemy is simple. Unless just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Your all mill was a crafty one. It, luckily for you, please don't don't dally. Okay, it said I've map updated. So that means it's a place I've never been. That's exciting. May the eight. Oh. May the eight guide you to. Okay, let's see where I gotta go. Oh no. That says I've cleared it, but maybe. Maybe there's something in there I haven't gotten before, or another place in there where I haven't been. So I'll go forth with it. I think that's pretty much everything I'm like openly Where'd you come from? to discuss, y'all. So, uh, just uh, I'm not sure why I'm using one-handed weapons. I think it was because I had to mine something and I couldn't mine it. Okay, well, where is that weapon I was using? No. No, I don't want to use that. Where's the sword? I need a two-handed weapon. I know that. I don't think that's... No, I'd love to use that, but there it is. Okay, let's see if we got end empty. Oh, no, this one's got stuff in it. I know I've been in here. I'm, I feel like I have, but maybe not. Maybe it's been a while or something. Cause especially if the set, the cave says cleared on it. I mean, but I've been to... Yeah, I've been in here. Physically, I just have to walk in, and I know I've been here. That's how many. Like, I can remember. I can go all the way back to when I was four years old. And I'm pretty old. Well, not like really old, I guess you'd say. 37. Now I can go all the way back to those four, and I can remember everything in detail. And I've tested some other people, and they can't do that, so... I don't know if that's just, you know, the, the autism, or I'm not, I'm not sure. Alright. But at times, I act like I'm, you know, like... 18 or 19. I don't know. It's just that I like to be funny and I like to make people happy and that's something that makes me happy. Especially like somebody's having a bad day or something like that. I like to reverse it and make them have a good day. Now there's some things, some situations where I can't but you know I'm just there for them and a lot of people know me for that. And I'll never change that because <clears throat> that's something I enjoy. And I do like to help people too. And I do. I'm really excellent with computers and not 
I can't, I may not be able to help you if you have a problem with your computer and you're like, oh, hey, can you fix this? And it needs all this. And I don't know if I can do that, but around here where I live, if somebody needs something, like say their computer got hacked or something, I can fix that um, and make the computer like new most of the time. <clears throat> Unless I got that one virus that was more recent. I don't know if that is fixable. I've not played around with it a, <clears throat> a whole lot. Excuse me. But I usually fix it for free. I don't charge because it's just not in my blood to charge. This guy like won't die. Die! Jesus. Took forever. And there's reason I don't cuss a lot on my channel. That has something to do with, I guess, how I was brought up. I mean, I have. I think twice. That's it. Um, but I got really mad when I died. Let's just put it that way. Because if I die in a game, I get upset. It's, it's just... I'm extremely... Competitive and I just I, I play hard. I don't, I don't know how to play uh, casual. I don't understand the meaning of that. Um, I used to be involved in some stuff um, where I was actually playing pro, and I stopped because it got too stressful for me. I guess you could say, and I have you know problems with stress and depression and anxiety and all that. So I, I have to. I, I kind of now know that um, being involved in some big or organizations and um, it, it's it's just it's complicated and it's hard. I did it for years though, but uh, I stopped. It was in uh, Call of Duty. I I quit that. I still have all the, the all the clans and stuff that I was involved in, but. Although everybody's still together, it's just we just don't compete no more. I stopped. It, it got it got too stressful. I couldn't take it no more. Uh, so now I get invited to a lot of stuff though, but I, I just I just don't do it. I uh, just I know that I might be able to do it. But at the other, on the other hand, I know that it might uh, stress me out or uh, have an anxiety attack or something. Or something don't go right or something like that. I guess that's another issue I have. Uh, what is it? I pretty much have an issue with failing uh, or. Not not doing things right, I guess you could say. Um, try to do things correct. Oh, gold diggings, those are always good. Good thing he missed me. Wow, these guys just die. Maybe I need to upgrade this weapon or something. This thing sucks. You would figure if it's in my inventory, it's good, but no, no. do that next video I'm gonna have some that's like maybe it maybe I'll I even die. I'm power hitting these guys and they're like just okay that's strange okay I think that's her follower but I like to kill her follower because they give me stuff Watch. They don't have no gold this time. So she'll keep, keep making followers and you can keep killing them. And it doesn't really affect your relationship with her. She'll continue to follow you and stuff like that. She won't even say anything. And sometimes they give you gold and stuff. And it counts towards your skills. So it's very beneficial. So instead of, you know, if you wanted to, you could go off in the battlefield and I'm not sure. I think I've tested this. 
Yeah, you could spawn a cross on arch or something like that, and you can just continuously keep killing it, and it counts towards your skills. A lot of people probably know about that, but if you don't, that's one way to do it. Or you can just play the game. But if you want to get, like, you know, all your skills maxed out, like, mine are. Which, I think, there's one skill I haven't maxed out, and I think that's the one I'm using right now. It's a two-handed weapon. I haven't done that yet. And I don't really have time to do the Frost on our thing. I just kind of played the game and did it regular. I'm not going to lie. I have cheated on this game massively, but, um... And I think I have a video about that on my channel. I can't die, pretty much, at all. And <clears throat> my damage is in the, um, what is it, the billions? But when I used to play this game on the 360, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that in the beginning. And I didn't do it on here until some time ago. I think I was already, like, level one. 100 and something. So after you acquire most of the stuff in the game and you just want to have fun and not have to worry about dying. Now if I take my armor off, I'm dead. Maybe. Okay. So whatever I need is up there. Oh, I know why they're not dying. I have the difficulty on legendary. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Oh, another one hurt guys. Ah. There we go. So I like to play games that are hard. Um, or very challenging. Because they challenge my brain. Um, I'll, I'll, obviously, when you play this game and you cheat, it's not very challenging. But it is still fun to play. But like some of the games I've played, like the very that are very challenging, is uh, that game um, Diablo 3. I play Diablo 3 Brussels. That game is challenging, and no, I do not cheat on that game. Um, and it's just challenging because you can turn the difficulty way up and then go see where you stand. And right now in that game, I know I haven't recorded it in a while. I have the difficulty. No, I'm not on no uh, Torment 13 or nothing like that. But I do have it. On, I think it's on Torment 4 or something. And it, you know, it challenges me. And pretty much the object of the game is just to grind and get all the loot you can. And um, get better gear. But it's like never ending. As whereas this game, there's no level cap. Like you can go up to um, the highest I've been on this game. Not on not of course on the Xbox One but on the Xbox 360 I was level 300 I think I was 301 and yeah that was uh, legitimately I mean, you could just imagine how long I had to play to do that it took me four, three or four years to get there and I have no gameplay from that but yeah three or four years of gameplay and I mean I had done every single thing in the game. Like, everything. It was crazy. Just, just insane. I have to get up top. Let's go back through here and see if there's a path to go up. It's gotta be. Okay, this way goes around. Does that lead me back to where I was, though? I don't think so. Okay, this should go up. Ah. Okay. They can't physically see me. But. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Too bad. It's alright. I like it when the chests have like 322 gold in them, but I'm not picky. I'll take whatever. 
Okay, so whatever I need is gotta be up here, I assume. Okay, well, can't even try something. Alright, let's go in here. I understand y'all might be mad at me for cheating on this game, but... I guess I kind of learned all the exploits and stuff in a really fast manner. I don't cheat on all games, though. You come There's some games I've played for the challenge. That's the kind of the point of the game. When you kind of cheat, it's very unfair. But I'm not playing with anybody else, and I don't do that in uh, multiplayer. I don't agree with that. I don't know if that makes me a hypocrite, but I'm not sure. But I just don't do that online. I don't think that's right. Why is this guy running from me? Hey, come here. He's like, wait a minute, this guy don't die. Hey, come here. Why are you running? Come here. Stop running. Really? Enemies galore. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. This guy is, like, strong. Give you some power hits there, buddy. Wow, you're tough. Guy. I'll talk about myself more. I, I guess uh, some things that you know I like and some things that you know that I enjoy. Some more things you know, maybe did that were extremely crazy or something. I'll try to talk about it more. With you all. It took me a while just to have. Uh, I guess you could say this conversation. Let's see if he had some. Yes, he did. That was her guy. I think. That's kind of ironic because he had a lot of stuff. Maybe not. Maybe that wasn't actually one of the guys. Alright. There's a chest up here. Let's see what we got in it. Take that, that, that. I'll take that just for fun. I already have one of those. Take it all. Okay. What I need should be... Yeah, it's over here somewhere. There is usually like a lever in here or something. Ah. Okay. There's good stuff in here. Take this bowl. That out. So I can I'm just okay with the dark. Damn. I've spent more than my share of time in the caves already. Oh. Some good alchemy stuff there, so I'm taking it all. I just don't want the bowl. If you can tell, I'm trying to be very accurate in picking this stuff up. My inventory's kind of full. that. Ah. Uh, 
whatever, I guess. Just That is about the best way to do that without taking the bowl. Serena, seriously? Seriously. Alright, wow, this thing is like crowded with stuff. I'm sorry, I just like I take all this stuff. I have so much stuff in the game, it's like insane. Like, no no joke, not even joking around. I have a chest that has over a million items in it. Um, have I physically counted that far? No. But I think the game limits how much you can put in a chest. And when you get over, like, um, I think it's like when you get over a thousand, the game, that chest glitches out. I've actually had a chest. I think I had over f over 5,000 items in it. It it went through the floor and it it went underneath the map. And it that was not me for cheating. That was um that happened on the Xbox 360 version. And it was because the chest had too much too much stuff in it. And you know, they could uh, maybe I don't know if there's a mod for that. I don't currently use any mods, but I mean, there's no really reason to. I'm, I can't die, so what's the matter? Um, let me see. How do I get out of here? But I don't know. Maybe they're never gonna fix it. I'm not worried about it because most people don't have that many items in in um that many items in a chest, and it's crazy. Um, I've actually had a chest go underneath the map, and I had to reset the game, and the chest came back, and then when I went in the chest again, it did it again. I was like, okay, well, this chest is not, I'm not getting this chest. How do I get out of here? Obviously, there's an exit here somewhere. It might be hidden. You would think it would be right here. I mean, I can go out the hard way, I suppose. That doesn't look like it moves, but it might. Okay, so let's go out this place. I guess I can another video I can show you all how to like level up like a really lot on this game and I mean unless you want to play I don't know that's up to y'all I don't know if I've ever made one of those videos on here I think I did show how to get uh, pretty much uh, you know like infinite health and all that stuff I don't know if I've ever showed how to level up like really fast, but I mean, I don't know. The only benefit is being like a really high level is, you know, you can have all the skills, but for some people the game, I guess you could say the game gets boring after that. I mean, once you have everything in the whole game, some people still, they don't play it. It's just, you, you kind of took all the fun out of the game. It's not. It's not fun anymore, so... How did this guy stay alive? Oh, Alright. Oh, look at this room. It's just stacked. Stacked with stuff. I'll say I'm already. I'm probably not supposed to be over there. Let's get out of that area. And this is the room. Oh yeah, we can test it here. Oh. Oh. I could stand here forever. Oh. Nothing will happen. No. All right. So. I'm going to end the video here. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, 
If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, I guess you can leave a dislike. It's up to you. Um, and I will hope to catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great fourth. And I, I hope this video goes up on the fourth. If it doesn't, then I'm sorry. But I'm going to try to make it where it does. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.